Hey everyone, how we doing? I just wanted to take a quick moment to introduce this video. We did something a little different on this one. Normally we're buying units that we know we can generally profit from. This one in particular, it was an interesting unit from the pictures. We wanted to really just kind of look through it and see what kind of story we may find behind it. We paid $1,200 for the unit. We found some interesting stuff and we definitely saw signs to at least make our money back. So if you're looking at getting into storage units, you definitely don't want to go and spend money on units just to treasure hunt. Here are a couple pictures from Locker Fox on this unit and you can see the heater. So it was important to comp it because I knew it was going to go up to at least $1,000. So enjoy the video. Oh my God, we just got another unit. Remember the one we just dropped the video not too long ago about the Pokemon cards? Well, we j at the same facility. Look at this unit here. Now, here's why we bought the unit. One of the biggest reasons we bought the unit was because we saw the value. Number one, you got to buy units, you see the value it. Now, we did stretch on this one, but there's a reason why. Number one, look. We got butane heater here. We got heaters up top here. We got heaters over there for the garage. These are garage heaters that you would hang in your garage and use your, your natural gas from your house to heat these. I mean, these heaters alone, you have $1,000 worth in inventory right there. There's a tank right back there. We can fire this baby up right now, even though it's 85 degrees today. Exactly. And because they're <laughs> gas, the only thing we got to worry about is there's no gas leak. So we also got right over here what we got some jordans bam some more jordans back there bam and i mean look at how nice these i mean why would you put nice shoes in here if you're not trying to keep something nice. safe yeah so we also looked at this look at the floor i mean this is not concrete he laid some linoleum and then some carpet, carpet down on here on top of it yeah like and then over on the other side here there is a little tarp also to cover part of the floor so now we couldn't see all of it so you can see in the back look at this the mystery of this unit also is what we liked mystery mystery there's a oh huge tarp covering something right there behind roy what is behind that now we got some information that this person was uh, he's got a warrant for his arrest. Uh, he's been here in a, a trouble tenant for a while. Here we are, and we are excited. Look at this. Okay. We saw this in the pictures, but check this out. We were wondering where that came from. Figured out why it's in the middle of the floor. Look at that. We got hats hanging up along the top of the unit. We got this ladder. I mean, that thing looks brand new. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. We got a generator. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about this. This I didn't even cop yet because I didn't even know what brand it was. So we got a generator. generator. What brand is it? It is a Generac SVT 4200. Oh. Wow. So. It's a decent sized one, it looks like. Yes, so it is. This, maybe, these heaters, maybe they could go into our... A future space <laughs> <laughs> you never know but if not these things I, I think i did a comp because you can see right here you know the name yeah um we couldn't get as close to see a model off of this but just doing a little comps on this um and trying to figure out what the average price is these are like 600 bucks brand new we got not to mention the items on the shelves we got the the shelving units themselves there's two black metal shelving units so do you want to pull back one of the curtains? And then there's this like wood storage unit that's empty, but there's the first curtain. Oh. What is it? <laughs> oh my God, we just found two bodies here. Cremated remains. Okay, well. One, two. That might even be cremains right there in that, that golfer thing. Oh, wow. So. Wow. That will definitely go back to the office. Yes, it will. There's some Yeti stuff that has value. Yes, it does. There's a brand new sealed Monopoly Corvette. Is that Corvette? Monopoly Corvette? Yes. Yes, it is. 
Monopoly Corvette wrapped or sealed. All right, are we ready for the next curtain? Next so curtain. this is the this was the big curtain that we couldn't see anything behind. This was the intrigue of a lot of it is yes. these curtains. All right, what do we have? Whoa. What do we have back here? Well, there's empty crates. <laughs> yes, there are, but we have stuff that's not empty. Ah. Uh, Lots of totes. We got drawers. Uh oh. Illegal paraphernalia. Yep, illegal paraphernalia. Uh oh. <laughs> well, we got a lot of drawers with stuff in it. That's maybe why there was a warrant for his arrest. <laughs> We don't know yet. We will find out. We'll do some research into that too. We yes, don't we have do. his we don't have his name yet, but I'm sure there's something with his name on here. We got some phones. Ooh, we may we can either use these for pictures or we may find more information. What is that? Was that a wallet in there? Was that a wallet? Mm, no. This is actually like a little case. Oh, a phone. Little an old phone. Like a camera. Oh, it did say Kodak on the front. Which I wonder. Can we glean a picture or a glimpse of? Oh, we have a memory card, eight gigabytes. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. So, who knows what we'll be able to find out from that? All right. So I don't know what we're gonna find. We got a memory card. We got a bunch of stuff we gotta go through. We still have what? This shelves and stuff that's covered. 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 All that behind Roy is covered. And there's some totes and stuff over here that behind this giant couch we can't wait to get into. What's first? First we're gonna move these shelves out so we can get these in the trailer there's a hat up there we're gonna have to get all the hats together but oh it's a funny rubble hat nice <laughs> doesn't look too bad uh-uh 1993 cool okay we'll have to put all the hats together oh there's a razor blade on that shelf want to ah. grab that and not have that fall so this looks like some sort of homemade contraption but it's going to hold temporarily hold some of the things that we pull from the unit and transport them on the trailer I back use tools. to the warehouse. Yes. So that works. Nice. Yeah. Cordless drill. Probably put this homemade contraption together. But it's nice because we'll we'll <laughs> utilize it in the trailer and we can put stuff on the shelf. So Yeah. Yeah, it's a little like there's a little warping and stuff on the shelves, but it don't it work. actually looks like it was probably made from pallets. Yeah. But but you guys know how we love things with wheels, right? And look, that opens up. I mean, it's actually interesting. This is a quick clean out, but we paid up for it because we were so intrigued with the setup and the pictures, and we could see the value to pay for it. I mean, yeah. If you look at this piece here, brand new. I mean, that's. At least, I think brand new, I comped it, and it was around $500, $600 brand new, so. Yep. Um, That's a massive Big Daddy heater. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it's on wheels. And then we have the, I don't, wouldn't call that a Big Daddy generator, but it's a decent sized generator, we I would say. And we couldn't see the name on that, so we didn't even comp this. We just saw that there was a generator in here. So yeah, uh, get the generator working, make sure it works. That's definitely money right there. So again, we can see the value in paying up for it, just so that we can see what's behind the curtains. Yep. And the sofa. There's a giant sofa on it, standing on end there. What's behind that too? these here do you need a hand with those oh my it. gosh look at the intricacy on the inside 
Yeah, so these here are like, <coughs> you want a heater for your garage, hooks up to your, your gas line at home. Yeah. And these I comped, um, and they're running about $500, $600 brand new as well. So Wow. Yeah. So brand new, that's $1,500 in equipment for those three pieces, because there's another one of those heaters there. This one's on the generator. And there are the doors for them. Oh, nice. So. Yep. And there's another one right here. Another what? One of these right here. Oh, yeah, I know. We just talked about it. We don't know much about this person but the question is why does he have all these heaters <laughs> so we don't know if that was part of his work i don't know it smells like gas a little bit but no gas in there um so it doesn't look bad as far as missing parts see the spark plug here's the cord Ooh, so i hear some compression so, I mean, this thing might actually start up if I put some gas in it. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Oh, man. That's exciting. We don't have a generator, so this may or may not be something that we would keep for ourselves because, you know, it's always good to have one of those, and we don't. So, <laughs> but, you know, it's always fun to sell stuff, too. And then we have what? These are... Those are some fancy shoes. Some Stacy Adams here. Fancy boots. Perfect time of the year for those. Those don't Man, look that worn. These definitely don't look my size, though. <laughs> um, Weren't those other ones... No, these are 10s. Interesting. Okay. It's that elongated toe Got front. Got some Jordans. These actually look very clean. Yeah. They do. Yeah. So we got some, and some more Jordans here. Nice. So, you know, it's a couple extra dollars there. I think I did a, a few comps on these and they were about 50 bucks a piece that we might be able to sell them for, 30 to 50. Um, So, let's get this rack out the way. And then there's some crusty, crusty uh, Crocs. And then these are... I can't read it. That just says fashion in there. Mm, that probably means they're not <laughs> anything <laughs> anything too great. But we have the Reese's rolling rack there. And one of my favorite candies. I don't eat much, but when I eat candy, this is my favorite, Reese's. So, will, will you want to keep that rack or... Will we sell it? I'm sure we probably could use this rack at the warehouse. Yeah. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, we could. We had shoes on it here. Imagine. I mean, there's a person. If you're watching, Chris, add-on sales. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this might be a, a point of sale rack for us. Yes. Okay. We won't put candy on it though. Oh wow! This is. Look at that. Oh, those are maybe the sides? Yeah. Wow, that's a whole, like, I think somebody would buy that for the Reese's, you know, kind of collectability factor. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. It is. So It, it might go in my man cave. <laughs> or that. This ladder is going to come in handy because we can get the hats down. All right. We need another one of these anyway. And that's actually taller than the one we have at the warehouse. And much more sturdy than the one we have at the warehouse. Right, right. Hmm. So, this here, I was able to see these before we bought it. And these are running, I want to say brand new, about $200. 300 Wow. That one still has the, oh, it says do not remove tag, but... <laughs> I mean, we just don't know why he had all of these heaters. 
but you know what season is coming up uh, around here <laughs> winter <laughs> yeah so we'll be able to sell these so here we have our first tote check this out <laughs> the shelf we have a bag that says everything Ooh. <laughs> nothing in it but these bags to sell yeah craftsman Little tool bag what is that a seatbelt <laughs> left shoulder it says sniper tree stand okay more hunting stuff i thought i said, saw something that said left shoulder but probably <clears throat> this is probably for when you're sitting in the tree stand you can strap yourself in so you don't fall out if you fall asleep while you're out hunting just some random tools at the bottom. What's that? No clue what that is. It's all taped up. Anything underneath the tote? Nope, that's it. This is a, another heater. And oh. this is a gas heater, so you can use natural gas or propane. Okay. You've seen those on walls in places before. Yeah. Interesting. Is that a little dog cage? Yeah, a little dog kennel. What are these? Uh, Light and fluffy. Pillows? Comforter? Bedding? Actually, I think this is like a bed. Because you can see the top and the bottom has a different texture. Maybe like a uh, futon bed. Oh, mattress. Okay. Huh. I don't know. We're not going to pull it out because yeah, then we got to get it back in there. <laughs> Same with this. This is all cloth. That looks like it's almost rolled in the way that it's shaped on the bottom, but I don't yeah. know. It could be. Maybe it's foam. <clears throat> what is this? Looks like a sign. No. I thought I saw writing on it. Oh, yep. There we go. Oh. It is like a flag or something. Frost guard. Flag, or this could be like bedding. Like you can roll it out. No. I don't know. That's interesting. We'll have to. It's a weird shape. I have to look into this. But it's got bars on it, so. Hmm. That's interesting. Now we're to our first tote. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What's this? I don't know. It's a sound, sound bar. bar. <laughs> nice. You got to remember when you're doing storage units, you always got to check the corners because you never know what's stuffed in the corners right on the sides of the door. And Ooh, that's got some wheat. Guess who's keeping the little cart with wheels? <laughs> All right. Got the shadow. Okay. Let's move over to the side here. Ready? Yeah. More heater parts. Wow. Heater poses. Look at that. These you can attach to like a propane tank. Um. Wow. Yeah. So these actually can be worth some money too. Those just are like for your patio, right? Like you just attach it to a propane thing and then... Patio or, I mean, if you're enjoying your storage unit and your carpet and you're chilling, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. You just attach it to a propane tank and you got heat anywhere. Now that we got this front space cleared out a little bit, we can get up here and see these hats. All right. You ready? Yeah. I see the first one's what Mickey Mouse um it's really hard to see it's really light out there and then it's dark look at that oh man I ooh, who was that Muttley <laughs> I remember that from like a uh, cartoon network <laughs> is that Dino yes it is Hang on, Didn't guys. In a while. I'm trying to just keep my eyes on the camera and grab these hats and put them on the shelf. So, 
trying to stay focused on everything. McGilla. McGilla Gorilla. <laughs> These are fun flashback cartoon hats. Here's Bam Bam. Ooh. These are like the whole, this, it's like a whole set. An interesting co collection here. Oh, uh oh. Lost one. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Scooby. And there we go, a little dopey. We'll line these all up on the table so you can see them better. There's one more over there that you probably can't reach. Uh oh. Uh, you can't stage reach. Stage left. <laughs> Snagglepuss. Nope. Ah! I just dropped that one. <laughs> this was interesting because. What else is up there? Oh, it's a light. I think it's a black light. Oh. Here's the bar. Yeah. And I think this can go in our new little. <gasps> I don't know if it's lit, lit up. I can't see. No, it's not on. But oh. I mean, this does work, and I think it can go in our new cabinet. Oh yeah, you guys were putting together a new cabinet with all my green glow glass. So here's the hats. Got them all lined up here so you can see them a little bit better. And then the backs of them have the names in big writing. So each one has the name on the back. Like that. What do we have here? More heaters. Wow, I can't wait to go test these because, I mean... Now those are electric. Yes, they are. So those you just plug in and they work? Is that... Am I seeing that correctly? <laughs> or do you need something else too? It kind of looks that way, but here's a little Some nipple kind of port. for probably a gas connection. So we'll be looking into all of this. And so they're convertible maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? It. Roy doesn't know? Not yet. Mr. I don't. know it all? No, well, just there's... kidding. <laughs> What is that? Is that a heater? Yep, it's another <laughs> heater. But this one is a propane heater. So hook up your propane tank and you got a heater. So those are probably for like a more like rustic type setting. Some place where you're outside or you don't need heat all the time. I don't know. I'm just trying to like figure where you would use that. But I mean outdoors. Outdoors. You know, if you're working in the garage, you're working outside. Ooh, another little ladder. <laughs> Look at that. We'll put this right here because we're going to finally get our first. What are you doing now? Well, now we're about to pull the blankets and see what's behind the curtains. What's behind the curtains? Oh, hey, curtain number one. The big reveal. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> We got a whole shelf system back here, don't we? Oh, wow. I don't know if I can reach that corner here, but we got well, milk crates for days, that's for sure. You'll get to it eventually once the crates get out of the way. So those are like zip tied together. They're literally spray painted silver. Oh, we got a tote down here and, and another zip rack. tied together. So we might be able to like easily transport those as a shelving unit. And then there's a rolling silver rack there. There's another tote there that says bathroom. But hopefully it's not bathroom stuff because that's a big tote full of bathroom stuff. All right, so let's <laughs> take a look in this. It's a lot of little tchotchke stuff. Ooh, look at the treasure box up there. What do we have in there? Let's see. I don't know. Are we going to open it right now? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How does it oh, feel? It, it feels like it's got a little weight in it. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's set this aside. 
All right, guys. I guess we're going to have to wait on that. Give me a quick second. Because I saw something else. Look at this. What did you see? These Ooh. always sell well in our sales. Knives. Oh, yeah. So these always sell very well. Even a little one to put on your key ring. Oh, it's like in the shape of a key, mm -hmm. but it's a knife. That's cool. Let's pack a stand there. No name, but doesn't need a name and it will still sell. Yeah. Some of the nicer ones we sell individually, and then other times we'll lot them together in groupings of. Huh. Will uh oh. We? Will we? It says Remington on it. Oh. Uh oh. Will that happen? We don't know. Empty. It's hard for me to see in there. I think that's sometimes. It's not much in there. Okay. What's in the Coke tin? It's in the Coke tin. I didn't hear anything, but oh, what is? Headphones? Lights. Oh. Well, Coca -Cola stick lights? them in and they're USB. Interesting. Yeah. And this is just a little cup holder. Okay. Those are zip tied together to spray painted yellow. <laughs> Actually, that's... You can take that whole thing out. Right, right. That makes that easy. It really kind of does. So, easy transport. Lots of little drawers and shelves. This is like a little emergency poncho, so... What's in here? Remotes. Ooh. Some cards that we don't need to show any numbers on. This is empty, but these are always nice oh, little things for yes. putting in, you know, little hardware. And yeah. Well, and even people love to buy that kind of stuff. Little WD-40 right. key fob. What is that? That's interesting. There's another one. Where did I? Oh, it's up here. Hmm. There's two of them. Are they just keychains? Just kind of decorative keychains? I don't know. I mean, you... It's got the grips for your finger, so hmm. I I wonder if this is for if you want to some kind of weapon or not self protection. Self -protection. Yep. <laughs> What's in here? What do we have? We have a bunch of cards. Blank no cards. But there are no cards. We use those for lots for our online sale. Macas. This is cologne. What? Yeah, good fellow company. E D Cologne. Oh, I think that might be Bath and Body Works. What is this? Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. What is that? <laughs> you don't know what that is? I mean, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, brass knuckles. <laughs> Not a brass monkey. Brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Interesting. Um, you can see the basket here. Paper towels. What else do we have? The cross. A crucifix. It has the little... It doesn't have the insides in it. Else? Nothing's in there. That's empty. Ooh. A wallet. Ah, no cash. Okay. Mega. What's in this basket here? Some water bottles, some JB Weld. Got a little ID in there. See that from the rip. Ooh. Ooh I see one of our favorite coffee cups. <laughs> what is this? Jackie Robinson. These are all actually not only in a penny sleeve, but they're in the card holder. Mark Ripken, Rippin, Michael Jordan, J Jay Cutler. Ooh, that's interesting. Hey, is it just a few of those? Just a few of them, but I mean, okay. especially that Jordan one is the one that I saw. Like, yeah, and there's another knife in there. 
These are empty. Ooh, the Conoco, yep. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I heard you say one of our... That's broken. Mm, yep. Right. That's empty. That's a good brand name, That's Yeti. Empty. This isn't even open. Corvette Monopoly edition. Corvette edition. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. I gotta get up there. What is that? A marble shooter? I wonder if that's in there. What do you think? Yes. A little plaque. Ooh. Classic tin. Oh, this is a box. It has. Wow. Here are the marbles. So we do have a marble in here, and I hear some of these marbles are collectible and can be worth some money. So it's three marbles, and here's the marble shooter. Wow. Look Looks at like that. Looks like it's brand new. Yes, it I wonder if there's does. a year on the box or on the game itself. It doesn't look like on the game, but maybe on the box. There's a year. It doesn't look like super old. Yeah, it doesn't. But. But it's still um, an interesting little piece. Yeah, okay, let's see. And when it's in there in the box. Yeah, it doesn't look old. I don't see a copyright date, but I would have to say this is not vintage more than, like you know. Like 80s or 90s. Probably even newer. What do we got? Oh! Perfect place to keep your wine bottle. Ooh, that looks vintage. Vintage glass. What's this last one? Also, oh, three vintage bottles.